Hi, my lovely people. So y'all already know if we got to do the disclaiming thing, then we about to get into it, right? So, uh-huh, copyright disclaimer under section 107. This is for entertainment purposes only. It is a teaching tool. Today, we're going to learn about roaches, uh-huh. So, fair use is permitted, okay? All right, let's get right on into this, okay? <laughs> y'all, baby, we can't make it up. Oh, the helmet hustler is over there striking again, baby. All I can say is, oh, you need to go get you some bombs over Baghdad and get rid of those pests. Call the exterminator. Yes, you're the helmet hustler. You can get it all done. All you have to do is put your mind to it. Uh huh. If you want to do it, then all you have to do is put your mind to it. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to just do a complete breakdown. We're going to show some um, receipts from My Shabby Life. We're going to talk about why the kids stay sick, okay? These kids, I mean, the more and more we watch every single day, somebody has a stuffy nose, somebody has a breakout on their skin, somebody has a fever, somebody is vomiting. It is always something. She stays nasal congested everything so what we're going to do today is we're going to start from the beginning okay okay because if we keep in mind jasmine has been nasty since day one so what we're going to do is we're going to take a quick trip down memory lane if you guys do not remember my shabby life thank you for the content uh-huh if you guys do not remember jasmine always had mystery odors dirty house and dirty rooms and roaches. So let's take a trip, uh huh, down memory lane real quick. A clean quick. house, okay. Um, but today I woke up, and to be completely honest, I need to clean my room because I smell shit. Don't know why it, I can smell shit, but I can smell it. So I'm like, my bitch here today. We're in my room somewhere. I don't know where because I don't have too much stuff in my room. Now, hold up. Wait a minute. Let me put some bass in it, okay? Let's keep in mind that this clip from My Shabby Life was over four years ago. So, uh, this is when the uh, kids were barely, barely even crawling, and she still had the um, diapers, the diaper genie, poopy diapers laying around. Really, really good stuff for, number one, germs and bacteria to build, number two, roaches to eat on, and the smell to just knock you out. But if you thought that was gross, okay, take a look at this one. I forgot that I don't have the pull-up diapers and she pooped in her bed. So we're about to use it and go put it in the washing machine. So as we can see, Jasmine has always had a problem with feces and keeping the kids clean, keeping their bedding clean. So that could be one reason that they stay sick. That could be one reason why you have a breeding ground for roaches. But y'all, we got to get really into this. Now let's flip forward, okay? Let's look at some of the dirty things that Jasmine has done right now. Uh-huh. Now we know that she said that Ava has asthma. She said that Stinkabug has asthma. She claims she has allergies. She claims uh, Caitlin has sensitive skin and allergies. And um, Amaya probably has a list of lows that she just has not listed because, you know, Amaya and her health is always on the back burner. All right. But these are some clips that I took right out of a live she was doing. How in all common hell can someone with allergies allow their vents to look like this i mean this is the woman who went and wiped down baseboards remember yeah and this is in texas okay texas where it stays warm and she's constantly staying oh it's hot let me turn the air on so this is what is blowing down on top of her head the kids head and these are kids that have allergies and these are kids that have asthma but you can go and you can wipe down the walls but you have not thought about popping off your ceiling fan or any of your vents to clean uh that's dirty check number one now y'all we got to keep going now let's look at exhibit uh a b c d e f g of uh jasmine's dirtiness i know y'all like what is this storm oh well this is right from my shabby life do you guys remember this when the living room was a hot complete utter mess up there and she had that zebra stripe rug and then the little baby came out with the used pad and was like mama look what i got and was playing with it putting it on her face smelling it and everything else and she thought it was funny uh-huh do y'all remember that or how about when the kids room looked just like this a hot heapy mess that you could not escape if you wanted to and she would sit there and say i'm pretty sure there's a diaper somewhere i don't know why it smells like that in here i keep it clean but then we have this 
where remember she went in the bathroom and it was covered with dirty diapers from the day before and the beds in the older kids room had diapers they had wipes they had all kinds of nasty crumbs on the bed so jasmine no nah, we ain't falling for it sis we ain't falling for it so yeah really quick before we go into the reader miss jasmine since we already have the evidence i wanted to go and google some facts about cockroaches because i knew that this was a dirty bug but look at this cockroaches can also passively transport microbes on their body surfaces, including pathogens that are potentially dangerous to humans. Cockroaches have been implicated to spread 33 kinds of bacteria, including E. coli and salmonella, six parasitic worms, and seven other uh -huh, human pathogens. Oh my God, it's making me itch. But could this be one reason why the kids stay sick? I mean, we're here to prove it, right? We're here to prove it. Maybe this is the reason why um, people's skin is no good. Maybe this is the reason why they stay hungry. Maybe they have a parasitic worm that is eating them up, and that's why they're emancipated and they're looking all um, freaking skinny and they look all dilapidated. Maybe that's the reason why. But then we have this. Can you get sick from roaches in your home? Thus, it should come as no surprise that cockroaches can spread harmful bacteria and diseases. In fact, the most common spread by cockroaches is gastritis, an intestinal infection that causes diarrhea, fever, and vomiting. Wait a minute. Now, wait, wait a minute. We just seen Jasmine. She always on the floor talking about how sick she is and her stomach is upset. We just seen that Ava was throwing up in her Halloween costume and was sick as a dog. And we just seen that she kept saying that Aiden had pink eye and he had diarrhea. Then the, you know, baby's uh, <laughs> diaper genie is always overflowing. And you're saying he's using the bathroom a lot. His stomach is irritated. Jasmine, could it be from the roaches and dirt in your house? Could it be from the roaches and dirt in your house? See, I don't know much about roaches. Thank God I ain't never had to deal with no situation like that. But. And this is why I had to go and look this stuff up to figure out something is going on. Because like I said, these some OG gangster roaches. They've been around since turn of century. They've been around since uh, Caitlin was a baby. All she done did was pass them from home to home. Her and Mama Duke's been out here having a good old time with these roaches. Bing, bong, boom. See, this is why. Now we got to talk about the real shit. I mean, pardon my language, but see, this is what makes me upset. We are here for the kids. And at the end of the day, Jasmine, you are a dirty, nasty person to continue to have your home looking like this. Your children stay sick. I'm not seeing any of her children. Like, for real, let's just keep all the way gangster. Every time she clicks on the camera, somebody's got a snotty nose. Somebody's nose is running. Somebody's butt is exploding. Somebody is vomiting. Somebody's on the floor. Somebody's in, uh, you know, some kind of sick mode. And the fact that you have roaches where you guys are just sitting there communicating and they just is like, we don't care about the light. We care about the fact that we are just out and about and we're going to stay out and about and we're going to do what we got to do when we got to do it. Baby, you can't let this go by. You can only imagine the germs that the roaches have spread across these counters, the counters that we have seen the children lick, eat, slap up on, roll across. Imagine the table. Imagine the table, how many germs, and she's out here on uh, live, oh, I'm about to go get me some Lysol wipes. Girl, Lysol wipes ain't going to help that. You got something over there that's incurable. That's why y'all stay with the pink eye. That's why y'all stay with your skin looking the way it is. And see, this is real sick and real sad. Everybody tries to say, oh, well, Jasmine, I've seen in her comment section, you're changing, Jasmine. We love the fact that you get on here with a wig on. Baby, Charles Nancy could have put a wig on. Jeffrey Dahmer could have put a wig on. Does that make them any better? No. No, no, no. She could put a helmet on. She could put whatever she wants to put on. But that does not make her a clean person. That does not make her a good mother. That does not make her not have roaches. I could sit over here and I could go put me a wig on. I mean, wigs are a dime a dozen. She gets paid to baby, uh, to pay, pay, to glue down them edges and to do the things that she does. So she could whip a wig on. But I'm going to tell you, she's still the same type of person. We are seeing this. She is disgusting. I mean, once again, like I said, this is the woman who let her child play with a used sanitary napkin. This is a woman who can't figure out what the smell is in her house because, y'all, there's a diaper somewhere and ain't no regular kind. It's a shitty diaper somewhere that she can't find the smell of. She's got roaches crawling everywhere. She's got 
diapers. And, ugh, y'all, I can't make it up. Jasmine is freaking gross. She's gross. And like I said, all the way until 12-6, we're going to do videos to point it out. Every time she gets on here saying, I'm trying to do my best. And if y'all don't stop, I'm going to be taking legal actions. I mean, has anybody ever asked her when she did that whole video saying, oh, legal actions have been taken. My shabby life is going to jail. I'm suing my shabby life. Legal actions have been taken. Can you tell me why the channel still exists? Why the person ain't in jail? But you claim that you want to got a lawyer. Because legal actions have been taken. What you need to do is go taking yourself on down to the nearest exterminator place, maybe a Home Depot, maybe a Lowe's, get you some home defense, get you something. But at this point, I've seen a lot of people in the comments say, well, what if Jasmine got some Borg acid? What if she got some home defense? Well, first off, she has animals and she has children that um, kind of eat a lot of things. So Borg acid wouldn't be the thing for Jasmine. Uh, -uh. Could y'all imagine? Could y'all imagine? At this point, the landlord is going to have to come in, do some professional uh, work, get some professional, you know, people out there to take care of it and try and treat it. Jasmine is going to have to be long gone before he does it because, you know, I'm not being funny. She has children that may, you know, get into some things. And I don't think that would be the best thing for her to try and treat it before it be something catastrophic happen. But y'all, I had to check in with y'all and I had to let y'all know the 411. This is something I want to do. I want to go down memory lane, like I said, and I want to continue to just ride out on her and have a good time. So every day we will go back to the Chronicle case files and then we'll come over here and share them. Jasmine, do better. In order to be better, you got to do better. But in this case, who knows? I don't know. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the comments below. Y'all have a wonderful evening.